For those of you who are looking into the Lampkin Foundation for the first time, we're a 501c3 nonprofit who focuses on projects that build stronger, more resilient communities. Members of our organization and our donors support projects that help people become more civically engaged and build their community. My name is DeAndre Lampkin, founder and board chair of the Lampkin Foundation, and I am excited to announce that the 2021 Social Good Scholarship Fund is back. I bet some of you have been wondering what we've been doing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, I'm happy to say that me and my team have continued the work of building stronger, more resilient communities. This year, we have opened up our scholarship fund once again nationwide, and this time we did something a little bit different. This one is a video challenge. We want to get a real sense of what our applicants are all about, both in the work that they're doing, in their personality, and seeing firsthand through a visual what they're doing to make their community stronger and more resilient. I am also happy that we have a new scholarship chair for this year, Taiwana Hill. Her background comes from her endeavors as an entrepreneur and a community leader. Today, we'll be hosting the 2021 Social Good Scholarship Brunch, where the committee members will get together and decide on who our finalists and our scholarship winners will be. The committee is comprised of several members from the community, both entrepreneurs, educators, civic leaders, and athletes. I am a human resource consultant and also a business consultant. And what I do for the community is help small businesses try to uh, build their business. I volunteered because I, again, I wanted to be part of a community. I, want, I wanted to be able to see what I can do for community service. The basis of the scholarship is what's, what was important to me. The re most rewarding part of it is going through the applications and seeing what their involvement was. I was very impressed and it made me think it doesn't matter at the age of a person just as long as they want to be part of a community, they want to be part of making the world better, and they just happen to be young adults. I chose my committee members by personality, also based off of what they do individually, and knowing that they want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. The most challenging part of uh, being a scholarship chair is having to keep the team motivated, having everybody be on time, and trying to not bombard them too much, but yet say, I'm here, and if you need any help, it's important as well. This year, our scholarship fund opened on January 4th, 2021, and closed March 28th of 2021. We tried to make sure that our deadlines were in direct alignment with the schools, and to ensure that we gave many students time to pivot during the pandemic. But we did not want this year to be a deterrent for students who are seeking financial aid for their higher education endeavors. Generally, when students are looking for scholarships, a lot of the applications reflect that the student has to be a valedictorian, a salutatorian with a 4.0 GPA, participating in all the sports activities and every social club there is in, in, in their school. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for students who are civically engaged, trying to do the work to make their communities better. Some of our past recipients have been leaders within their religious organization, within their city, and within their schools. This year is no exception. If you're interested in supporting the Lampkin Foundation, feel free to visit our website. Visit www.lampkinfoundation.org. We're also able to accept donations through our website. Check out our YouTube channel and Instagram feed.